Hey guys, Josh here again with Windy City Equipment, uh, continuing on with our series about preventative maintenance, PM agreements, PM contracts, call them what you want. Uh, bottom line is that the industry is currently driving the prices way down and they have been for years. Um, several problems with this, but uh, I think it's important to mention here in this channel. Uh, so anyway, look, everybody knows how a service company makes money, right? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's no secret. You know, we bill for our time. We have to bill enough to compensate for the technician wages, all the company overhead, uh, and everything in between. So uh, PM agreements, all right? This is a necessity for uh, pretty much any piece of equipment, if you ask me, um, you know, uh, more specifically, HVAC refrigeration tends to get a little bit more attention on the PM front, although I believe it's just as important to maintain your uh, hot side equipment and uh, commercial appliances as well. Anyway, uh, problem being in, uh, in the industry, as I'm sure many, many of you are aware, uh, over the years, the price for PMs has went from a T&M, time and material, right, uh, just billing for the time it takes to uh, perform the actual maintenance itself to a flat rate to compensate for this time. And, uh, and that flat rate then has been going lower and lower and lower, um, you know, and, uh, and everybody is trying to outbid everybody else. And a problem I see is that people are way too reliant on looking at the upfront price of the PM rather than uh, the overall objective, right? So, um, you know, there's companies out there that just simply put, don't do a good job, okay? I'm, I'm just gonna say it, you know, hate me if you want to, I don't care. But there are companies out there that just don't do what they're supposed to do on these PM contracts. And why do they do that? It's because uh, they can underbid Okay, everybody else because they don't have to spend as much time as everybody else, and uh, usually the customer isn't the wiser. Um, you know, I'd say probably eight times out of ten uh, that uh, you know end users don't actually check and verify if uh, these uh, preventative maintenance um, calls, service calls, were were done correctly. Half the time they probably don't even know what they're looking for. Um, you know, and, uh, and then the, the underbidding service company uh, tends to uh, make up their lost wages in, uh, uh, you know, finding things to, uh, to bring to the attention of the, uh, of the end user. Now, there's nothing wrong with that as long as it's legitimate, as long as they actually need to do these things that they're recommending. But so often we find that you know, uh, they're actually bidding and recommending things that don't need to be done. You know, this is the problem in the industry. This is the whole problem with the perception of service companies everywhere is that they're cheapskates, they're liars, they're out to get you, charge, 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 bill, 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 you know, and, and the good, honest companies that do good, honest work fall by the wayside and they suffer because you know what they do? They charge for their time. They legitimately charge for their time, for their labor, and they know they're going to do a good job. They know that what they're doing is actually going to extend the life of the equipment, which is the whole point, like we talked about in the last video, it's the whole point of doing a PM. So, um, you know, the problem lies in, in, in that these prices are going so far down that the good companies don't even want to do them anymore. And if they do end up doing them, and then they, uh, uh, they also have to compensate for that lost revenue, you know, but uh, uh, legitimately pointing out things that are wrong, you know, chances are the last company got fired because they were uh, bidding out things that the customer didn't need. So now that customer's immediate perception of the service company they're now using is that they're doing the exact same thing. So we need as a whole service companies and customers alike to... to fix our expectations to know exactly what a PM is for and understand it from both sides so that both companies can work towards the same solution. Because at the end of the day, we both want the same thing. We want your equipment up and running and to extend the life of your assets and to get paid for what we do so we can continue to run our business. 
Okay, so that's the problem. That's the problem in the service industry right now. That's the problem with the PMs, and uh, hopefully we can do something about it. Um, more on that uh, on our new podcast, the Perception uh, uh, per- Perception Evolution Project, uh, trying to change the perception of the entire industry. Check it out. The link's going to be below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe now. All right, we got a whole lot of things coming this uh, uh, this year. Sign up for our newsletter. Link will also be below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas, anything at all, let me know. Email me, call me, comment, uh, whatever. I am here, you know, and I've got a lot of things that I can talk about uh, that you want to hear. So anyway, uh, tune in next week and we'll have uh, uh, some new stuff for you. In the meantime, stick around.